Good morning. Was Jesus' ministry the end or the beginning? We're going to look today at Mark 2, verse 18 to 22. Let's read it. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were fasting. Then they came and said to him, Why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. No one sews a piece of unshorn cloth on an old garment, or else the new piece pulls away from the old, and the tear is made worse. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskins. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new, mi but new wine must be put into new wineskins. And so... What do we have going on here? Well, was Jesus' ministry the end or the beginning? I want to say to you that Jesus, that the coming of Jesus marked something brand new, something entirely new in humanity. God came. God came to people, and he became one of people. He became one of us, and God entered into his own creation. It's just an amazing, unspeakable condescension, but it's a beautiful thing. So when Jesus came, it was something new. What about this old wineskins and new wineskin stuff? Well, a lot of us are kind of like old wineskins. We can't contain something that's, that's new and lively. And so we need our lives to be available to God. We need to have some changes so that we, have new, we are new wineskins available to him. He has some new things to give us, things we've never thought of or imagined before for our lives, blessings we've never thought of or experienced before in our lives. And God is very, very ready to give it. We just aren't very ready to receive it. So let's pray that God will help us have a new readiness, a readiness for new, precious things from God. Dear Father in heaven, we want to thank you today for your, your immeasurable goodness toward us. Thank you that you are willing to reconstruct us, to make us into new wineskins so that we can receive the, the great blessings you have for us. And so, Lord, we want uh, to recognize that each day is a new beginning. It's not the end. Baptism, we don't go through and are baptized, and that's the end of our Christian experience. But, Lord, that's, that's really at the beginning. It's a brand new day, and wonderful things will come to us every day. Thank you, Lord, that we can have this kind of experience, a fresh experience each day in Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope... We have a brand new day here. Maybe it's like a new wineskin. Maybe God will put something, something lively into it for us. A thought today, how can my faith be kind of a new wineskin? If you've got some ideas about that, put it down below in the comments, and we'll, we'll take a look at that together. Don't forget the comment section. God be with you. Have a wonderful day.